Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I got these heatless curls overnight. If you guys want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. But before we get into it, I'm going to give you my shout out of the video. So now you can actually enter to get the shout out of the video over on my Instagram, so just comment on my Instagram. I will put it right here. And this shout out goes to Brooke, and she is actually a travel agent, so she can like set up any vacations for you. So if you want to do some little vacations this year, definitely consult with her and DM her and follow her on her Instagram. I'll put it right here too. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so we are starting this video off in the bathroom because I just got out of the shower from washing my hair and we are going to go ahead and use this blow dryer. So these curls actually work very well with wet hair, damp hair, or dry hair. It just depends on what type of curl you want. So if your hair is going to be a little more wet, it's obviously going to be a tighter more dramatic curl and if you have it damp it's going to be a more looser curl and if it's pretty dry and a tiny bit damp like i'm going to do it it's going to be a loose wave like you're using your own wand i'm actually drying my hair more messily but if i was drying my hair to like make sure it was super straight. I would use a brush, obviously, but I'm just going through it and making sure that like the top is pretty dry and the middle is pretty dry and just leaving it like where it is pretty much dry to the touch, but like it still has that cool feeling, if you know what I mean. But after I actually finish blow drying, I am going to comb it out and separate it for when I do the curls. Now you obviously can use like a rope tie that I'm using for my robe. And you can use tissues, toilet paper, anything you want around your house, paper towels to wrap your hair in and curl it. It really is up to you, but I'm using kind of like a scarf. To start off the curls, I am separating my hair into two and then just placing it on top of my head and then placing the hair that I separated into into two again. And what this is going to do is just separate my hair to where I can get a more distinguished detailed curl. Now I'm just going to go ahead and wrap away from my face because that is what I do with my wand. Basically you want to use the scarf kind of like your wand iron and wrap it around and then take the back side and do the exact same thing it really is just up to you on the way you want to wrap it and how you want it to look but that is just my preferred look for these type of curls and also you can actually wrap it tighter to make a more tighter curl it just depends on what you like Now I'm just going to use this scrunchie to tie it off and make sure that these curls stay in overnight. Okay, so we didn't like that, so we're going to redo it because, yeah, I'm just like that. I'm a perfectionist, so yeah. Now what I actually decided to do here was separate the sections into the scrunchies as well. So I basically just put a scrunchie for each section to hold it because I wanted it to stay overnight and not fall out. So this video would be a fail. So that's just what I'm doing. I tied the first section and now I'm just wrapping the second one and then I'm going to tie it again. Now a lot of people actually put their little sides or whatever these curls are. 
they go ahead and they put it on their head and they bobby pin it but it's really comfier to do it this way and just leave it down and it looks more natural when you take out the curls so let's go ahead and do the other side Now it's time to sleep and wake up and bam. Wow, that was a great transition. And I look like a complete hobo. I'm very sorry, but this is what I look like when I wake up. I know, crazy, but we're gonna go ahead and take out these curls and I'm very much zoning off. I'm sorry, but I was tired this morning. Look how cute these curls and waves look. So what I went ahead and did after this, I actually just went ahead and flipped my hair over and kind of separated the curls so they wouldn't be as bunched up. And I'm spraying some coconut oil on there so that frizz can go away. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys if you were wanting some more heatless ideas on how to protect your hair during like when you're wanting to use that flat iron when you know you shouldn't if it's going to damage your hair tremendously. Let me know any video ideas down below and I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye. Love you.